Welcome to Beers and Banter. This is a Hobby Homies podcast where we drink beers and I guess talk banter. Normally, we throw shade at each other as part of our general day-to-day conversation, but on (laughs) on these episodes, it it more pertains to talking about uh, hobby, wargaming, what kind of stuff we've got going on. We normally have like a main episode that we release every Sunday as part of our Hobby Homies podcast, which focuses around a theme. These episodes, however, have zero theme. We literally just see where the beers take us. Yeah, and they take us to some strange and unusual places. But uh, yeah, it's all about the journey, not about the destin. Uh, no, wait, it's all about the destination, not a- <laughs> no, no, no. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> no, 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 it is about the journey. No, that's yeah, it. That's it's the about one. the journey. Doesn't yeah. matter where we end up. It's all about the journey. So I'm Fox. <laughs> this is my co-host Shane. Ah, uh, yep. You've greeted me with the the cracking of a <laughs> beverage. You appreciate that. You're welcome. And as we start. All episodes. What are you drinking, Shane? I want to know. Right now, my friend, I am pouring a glass. Okay. Of you've got me on the edge of my on. seat. <laughs> Let me read the can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a mi- it's a mystery beer of sorts. Yeah, it's um it's Nui Pacific Ale. Um, Nui. Yeah, Nui. Yeah, it's actually not bad, man. Not bad. The. Uh, the other day, the uh, the boss and I went on a, a car ride to a little um, a little shop in Mooney Ponds called Fizz and Hop, um, okay. and yeah, like we were just out for the day and we were driving through Mooney Ponds. I thought, oh, I've been seeing this joint online. Like they've got like a lot of um, craft beers and that in there. Okay. And yeah, I just pulled in and grabbed a six pack. And I thought, yeah, this will this will be grouse for beers and banter. This was when was it Saturday or Sunday, um, and. That night, I couldn't help myself, and I drank three of them. <laughs> and, oh, so, so I was like, I good gotta then. stop drinking these. I need yeah. to save these, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, yeah, not bad, man. Not bad. Very nice. MJ and the disc. Sorry, I should also preface this. Uh, these beers and banter episodes happen after we record our main episodes, which yes. the one we previously just did was a bit of a hobby catch up, letting everyone know what us and our Discord users have been up to. Um, but as a result, we have people here listening live in our Discord posting stuff and we'll, we'll throw to them a couple times throughout the episode. For example, MJ just said from Nui and is that the correct spelling for it? Is that the one you're drinking, Shane? Well, and it's I, on the can. It's, no, it's spelled N-E-W-Y. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. And it's not I'm what, just trying, it's not I'm what just Burns trying to read is it. drinking, is it? He's got a colourful can there. Of sorts? Nah, it's nothing like that. This is... I think it's brewed in Poco... Poco Blin? Okay. Poco, Poco Bin in New, in New South Wales, I think. So, Poco yeah. Hunters brewed it. That's cool. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I've... So, I guess this is, this is definitely beer-themed. I want to know what people's tricks are for... Like, I've just cracked another, another Sculpin and it's gone everywhere again. <laughs> if you know uh, a six pack is has a tendency to absolutely explode and foam up on you, what can you do about that? I want to know. <laughs> yeah, not much. Uh, I just let Swear it, it spill on the ground and don't shake them. Stop shaking the piss out of them. <laughs> I'm just so excited, everyone. I'm just shaking nervously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there like a trick? I mean, I know people tap on the can for like sodas. I'm like, come on, three taps. That's not going to... I mean, that's not going to tame these beasts. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jay said, who are you, Michael J. Fox? Which is a nice spin on my name, which is Michael Fox. It's actually Michael H. Fox. It's actually Michael A. Fox. Oh, you mean me. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. middle name is Hugh. <laughs> whereas Michael J. Fox's middle name is Andrew. So, huh. yeah. I mean, it's got a better ring to it. It's a fun fact I have up my sleeve. Um, yes. He had to change his name because when he started acting and wasn't well-known, there was already a well-known Michael J. Fox who now is just a nobody. <laughs> Sorry, wow. there was already a Michael A. Fox. Yeah. So, he had to change it. So, his middle name is actually not J at all. 
it's it's Andrew. So interesting. That's very interesting. You learn something new every day, dude. I'm glad you shared that with us tonight. Yeah. Um, he spells Andrew. <laughs> At least the last are you telling me he spells Andrew with a J? <laughs> yes, it's uh, it's European. <laughs> Jandrew, as Jay said. <laughs> it's a silent J, dude. It's it's y- Yandrew. <laughs> Moose Moose did a great job of explaining the joke. He said because he has Parkinson's. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Hence the shakes. <laughs> Hence the shakes. What's yeah. been happening, dude? This is beers and banter. This is where normally, like, ideally we cover the local scene and what's happening around town, which, you know, stuff started to open up, but it's not in full swing. There's not tons happening. Yeah. So, I mean, we kind of just cover, uh, I guess, whatever, whatever's on our radar. Yeah, pretty much, man. It's, it's, look, it's, it's been tough. I'm not going to lie. These, uh, these months in lockdown, um, you know, and we've got the, uh, the, her- the, Glistening on the horizon, the uh, the end of lockdown, the freedom that's yeah. involved with that. So hanging for that. But um, look, lately um, I'm sort of I'm de- having this debate. Right, it's a, it's an all it's internal. I'm fighting with myself. Ah, uh, the um, biggest battle of them all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, before the time before lockdown, right? I know it's so long ago. It's hard to think. It's sort of it's yeah. the golden years, right? Before I had a child. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. If you if you were to go to the recycling bin in the morning and empty, you know, uh, and empty your, your you know you might have a recycling bin inside. You empty that in the bin. Might be a few stubbies in there, right? Yeah. Um, your your neighbours would be like, "Geez, this guy can drink. Like, is he a, is he an alcoholic? Like, what's what's his problem?" Right? Correct. Now, if you go and do that, they'll be like. This motherfucker's having people over. They're having a party. Ah, oh, true, yeah. You know? So yeah. it's like you gotta to say to your neighbors, no, no, don't no, don't worry. Like I'm, <laughs> I just drink a lot. I'm not yeah. having people over here. I'm the- following the rules. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I got a problem. Like, you're just like, hold up, hold up, no no no, I don't have people over. The same <laughs> yeah. thing you thought I was doing before, I'm still doing. <laughs> yeah. But I mean COVID, am I right? And they'd be like, Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah, um, I've had that. I've had that thought many a time when I'm emptying the old, uh, the old recycling bin. <laughs> that and what the, my neighbors the, think the of clings me? and clangs <laughs> of bottles, and you know, especially when it, it's the day after recycling day, and you're you're pouring it in the bin. It's a yeah. long way down, and it makes a it makes <laughs> a noise. Yeah, yeah, and, and you're that's, right. That's where cans is is the better way to go, but. Um, as Final Dinosaur said in the chat, there a way not to spill it is by using a by drinking out of a bottle, not a can. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, contrast to that, Arkham said, just open it over the wife. So oh, of course. I mean, I don't know if that actually helps with the spill, but it certainly would give me more free time. <laughs> it's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> so and Moose said, I use a fake cough to cover a fart. I'm not sure if that's relevant. Now I have to fake <laughs> a fart to cover a cough. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. True. true. <laughs> yeah, you sneeze and everyone looks at you like you got leprosy. So that's, <laughs> yeah. that's true. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's rough. It's been did rough. You, did you happen to see? Um, I'm kind of out of the loop, but I feel like there's a new model out. That's a remake of a previous model for Age of Sigma, called the Brewmaster. Have you seen this? Ah, uh, yeah, dude. It's Bugman's. Uh, what's there's one they release every year. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I got no it's idea. Like, it's a dwarf. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. But it's a it's character dwarf. on Overlord, right? Is it? You know, like I, that they, army? I think they change it every year. I think it's a new sculpt every year. Um, but it looks good, man. I reckon I'll um, I reckon I'll get one just to paint because he's got like a stein in his hand, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He's yeah. The, he's the brewmaster. Ah, oh, it's the white dwarf. The white dwarf. Okay. What, are you, what are you saying? MJ in the chat said, no, that's the White Dwarf. Like, the White Dwarf is a magazine. Yeah. Monthly magazine produced by the Games Workshop. Correct. Interesting. But what? Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but <laughs> I've seen the model. <laughs> yeah. And it is good. I like it. Yeah, I like it. So, I mean, there's an older model called the Brewmaster, which is just like what we we're talking about on the main episode, this old outdated model and they've they've redone it, I suppose. Okay. So like a dope looking Yeah. And he looks like he, he is. He's a character on Overlord, surely. Like from that same faction. Like you could play it in that army. Sure. Yeah. Surely. Um but I mean I feel like it's a 
I feel like it's the model of the beers and bands of podcast because like I think so. He's got a stein. It's it's hey, it's actually overflowing with uh, foam, so that's relevant. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but, are you saying we need a new logo for Beers and Bander? Oh, obviously, and it has to be this guy. <laughs> now, I don't know how can, we swing that. Maybe maybe Storm Ballard can uh, put in a good word for us. I don't know. Yeah, he'll, he'll, you know, he'll talk to his higher-ups, and they'll talk to their higher-ups, and six months later, we should get an answer back. Surely, surely. Yeah. And I like that he's got a big keg on his back. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, and I like that instead of triple X, he's got six X's. You mean instead of four X? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Miss, <laughs> I never misspeak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's twice as good as whatever you thought it was going to be. Okay. Sure. Okay. Triple X. I mean, it can be. It can be. You know. It can be exciting, or it can be the Vin Diesel movie. Oh, that's true. Which is also exciting. Vin Diesel's a big RPG guy. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. The first. The first one was good. Let's. Let's. Okay, I've never seen it. Forget about the rest. Yeah, okay. It's not bad. Um, so, yeah. Bugman has a new model. I didn't know that. Okay. Did someone send us a picture of that? What's that yeah, about? Yeah, I'd love to see that in the in the Discord chat. If you can, if you guys can let us know. Um, we had... That'd be sick. We had a... Early on in our hobby careers, we had a little group chat with you, myself, my brother, one of our other friends that does hobby, Rory, the yep. wet palette enthusiast himself. That's it, the man. And I think for a long time it was called Bugman's Glow because I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, to be honest. I think because I just remember Rory saying it with an accent every single time. Mm. Um, That'll I can't do remember it. how he'd say it. But yeah, Bugman's Glow was almost a meme of ours for a little while. It was the paint. When you say, what color should it is? It's just, it was always Bugman's Glow. You know what? I'm learning through our Discord... And this shows how little we know about the Bugman universe. <laughs> but I think Bugman, from what Musa said, is the OG dwarf, beers and banter homie. He is the brewer. Is the guy we're looking at... Is that what you guys are telling us right now? That the brewmaster is Bugman? Surely not. He's from Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Bingo. Bingo, says MJ. That's the one. Wow. So, this whole time, bef- long before we even thought about a podcast... We had a group chat around our hobby homies, my brother and <laughs> and Rory, called Bugman's or whatever it was called, Bugman's, Bugman's Glow. Glow. Yeah. And now we've gone full circle and created a podcast about beers and banter where we think the icon should be this brewmaster who happens to be <laughs> Bugman's. I don't know. Oh, God damn, dude. Don't know. I don't know if the irony's lost on everyone else. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But do you know at Warhammer World in uh, the UK, they have a bar there called Bugman's Bar? No, I didn't. Yeah. You can eat there. You can drink there. It's what? all in this... Yeah. Man, I, I've, I've told Catelyn many a time, if and when we ever get to the UK, we are spending at least a day here. At, at least a day. At least, dude. Yeah. At Warhammer World? Come on. That's a, that's yeah. a, that's a trip. <laughs> that is a trip. Exactly, dude. That's crazy. Um, I have purchased a lot of board games, Shane. I, uh, more more than we last spoke about board games? Not really, but just like the same ones, but no, I've not played any of them. <laughs> They're still in shrink, aren't they? They're still in shrimp. That is correct. <laughs> yeah, okay. Still in shrimp wrap. Yeah. <laughs> which I'm convinced is the uh, original name for shrink wrap. Of course it is. What else could it be? I, I don't know if anyone knows this story. Did we talk about this already? Like, for a long time, I thought it was called shrimp wrap because I thought it might have been something that, like, they used to wrap shrimp in because shrimp had to stay fresh. So, I thought it was, like, that same stuff that they used. But, that trans- hang on. Okay. Wrapping, wrapping shrimp yes. isn't going to keep them that much fresher than not wrapping them, dude. Have you ever seen them wrapped at the fucking sea mar- seafood market or in the deli? Well, th- so, so, like, They're I on thought- ice. Yeah, yeah, ice, all the, always on ice. Because we got the technology for ice, but I didn't think it was always that way. I thought like... <laughs> okay, so before, once, once upon a time before ice, there was shrimp wrap. Correct, correct. <laughs> okay. That is what my young brain told me. I thought they were like, well, we didn't have any way of keeping this shrimp fresh, except for this very specific type of wrap that we have, 
which yes, is plastic. Yes. We suck all the air out, so therefore there's no way that they can go bad. So we can just ship ship them in this shrimp wrap. Oh, so this plastic shrinks around the shrimp. Correct. <laughs> so let's call it no, shrimp shrink, wrap. Shrink, shrink wrap? Nah, shrimp wrap? That's the one. Well, <laughs> because shrink doesn't tell you what it's for and like what its use is, whereas shrimp tells you it's to keep things like like if it keeps seafood fresh then surely well, it keeps everything else fresh you, you know mean what? specifically shrimp nothing else this this won't work on anything else this is only for keeping shrimp fresh i mean i mean yeah that's what i thought but i since learned <laughs> after like mispronouncing it once that's all it took <laughs> I think I got away because I said shrimp wrap so many times and people thought I... They're like, I'm surely I misheard him. Surely yeah, he said yeah, shrink yeah. wrap. Yeah, he, he he's not saying shrimp wrap. I, it's, it's definitely something wrong with my ears. I need to go get my ears <laughs> checked because this homie is saying shrimp. But I... Yeah. Like, he's saying shrink, but I hear shrimp. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, and you say it so quick, you're like shrimp wrap. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, huh? Unless you're listening for it, you wouldn't know about it. Exactly. Yeah. So, and like Moose says, many people love shrimp. So, anyways, I thought shrimp. it was shrimp wrap for forever. If I had to admit an age at which I figured it was shrimp, I'd say 24. <laughs> God damn. And I'm 31. So right before we got into the hobby. <laughs> That's about the time I learned. <laughs> yeah. in fact, you're it, probably at Games Workshop up in the Sunshine Coast, and you're like, so all these things are in shrimp wrap, and the guy behind the game's like, "What?" So, so I was like, "Yeah, they're in shrink wrap," and I'm like, "Sorry, did you say shrink?" <laughs> yeah, because the wrap, the wrap shrinks around the, sucks all the air out, shrinks the wrap, and I'm like, "Man, this guy's crazy." <laughs> he thinks it's called. Co- I go to my mates at the bar. And I'm like, "This guy thinks it's called shrink wrap. <laughs> What's going on there?" Anyways, we've talked about shrink wrap too much. <laughs> What was yes, the point of the conversation? So. Oh yeah, so I all the board no games, the, all the board okay. games are still in shrimp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> new in shrimp. <laughs> now, what are these board games? Oh man, so I've got on Mars, which I'm insanely excited for. You it's... you bought that the same time I bought Eldritch Horror. I'm pretty sure. For sure. From board games for the board. Correct. Board games for the board. Yeah, we got you whack. Yeah. We got you whack. That's it. Uh, you can also Facebook board games for the board. We buy all our board games through there. Yes. Um, unless he tells us not to, in which case we buy them from elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I did. I bought that. but And it is solo, but I'm just m- mostly excited for its uh, multiplayer mode. So I just haven't touched it. Yeah. That game looks insane though. I started watching a video and they're like, oh, uh, this yeah. game might not be for you. And I was like, yep, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's how they open <laughs> yeah. it. They say, this yeah, game might not much. be for you. <laughs> All right, then. Okay. I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> All right. That's not for me, then. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I bought that one. It is insanely complex, which I froth. It's, yeah. It, it requires... It's got a lot of different moving parts, a lot of different mechanics to it, but I am super keen to get around it. So... Um, yeah, sick. I definitely... I think I should learn it inside and out before trying to introduce my friends to it. Yep. Um, but yeah, I am super keen to play that. I've ordered all the Wingspan expansions because I loved the base game. Oh, did you get the um, yep. the Australia one or the Oceania one? Yes, I was signed up for their newsletter. So yep. I, I got a day dot. Nice, dude. I've also got the European one and that's new in shrimp. Yep. Um, <laughs> what else have I got? I've got... Uh, so we we have this game we you and I played a couple times maybe Call to Adventure. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's a that's a good game. It's not like one of the best games of all time, but it's just a good fun game. It's kind of RPG ish in vibe. That's the one where you um, is that the one? Oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> we played a, we played a lot of games. <laughs> yeah, we have. So it's it's a card game primarily. Yeah, yeah, and you pick your like. Yeah, it's like three phases, yeah, and you yeah. pick a card for like... It's yeah. You explain uh, it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been so long since we played it, but effectively you get you get your origin. Yep. And you get your... Um, uh, what is it? You, you, the middle one is like your... Maybe your trait or your characteristic. Yeah. And then the last one is your destiny. 
and That's you get a, it. you get a few cards to pick from, and you basically build this character. So your your origin might have been, um, oh, it's origin, motivation, destiny. I've actually heard a lot of people using that game purely to build D and D characters, mo- like more likely NPCs. They would just yeah. have their three decks. They would just draw cards, and they'll say, "Sweet, this guy has this trait and this destiny." Yeah, and they'll like use it to create a D and D character. Cr- yeah. Which is- it's, yeah. it's, it's good for NPCs in any game because, yeah, you do. So, your origin might be a humble fisherman. Your yeah. motivation might be um, you've been betrayed, so you're out for a revenge for the person that betrayed you. And then yeah. your destiny might be um, someone that reaches enlightenment. So, yeah. somehow, through those three things, you create a character and you're like, so how did I get with my fisherman background... But my motivation for, betra- like, I've been betrayed. How do I then become, you know, my destiny? So, yeah. it, on the actual gameplay is quite cool because you, you take on quests, um, but you build your character's attributes. It's, it's, it's super unique. I've never played anything like it. And that's why I keep it in the rotation because it's pretty fresh. It's quick. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty unique. It's also, again not top rated it's more of a thematical kind of game than it is like a competitive game yeah but i got the expansion for that and yeah like mj in the discord said it's it's pretty cool it sounds pretty cool for character creation it really is like you could pick there's these fat decks of each of those and you can just pick any three and it tells a story there's there's never been a combination where i haven't been like damn that's a cool story yeah so yeah it helps you build and- characters and yeah yeah, it's, it's pretty like it's you know we, just with that alone like the replayability must be endless oh man and I just got an expansion for it which <laughs> I haven't touched yeah. so yeah. and there's another one out um, I kickstarted this game it took me forever it was my first ever kickstarter and um, I was disappointed to find out that I only through my uh, kickstarter I only got the base game and one expansion and then it's like every one after that you have to buy because I spent yeah. a lot of money on it. <laughs> I thought, surely <laughs> this is just expansions for life. But yeah. Yeah. Super dope. Up to four players or something. Co-op as well if you want. Yeah, it's real cool. And yeah, nice. As uh, Wax said. Well, did Wax say it? I've lost it. Yeah, Root. I just bought the Root expansion from board games from the board. Um, the Underworld expansion. I've already got the previous River Folk expansion. And I got a heap of different add-ons as well. Again, nice. all new and shrimp. So, <laughs> dude, we are going to be busy, my friend. Man, we've got so much. Like, we haven't got enough weekends in the next six months to, to play through all the shit we've got to play through. I mean, this month's already booked, right? Like, you and I have stuff over the next two weekends, and the weekend after that, we're catching up with TCG. Dude, then, yeah. At uh, least the next three weeks straight up are booked. So, like, we, we, I think we when we pulled the trigger was... As soon as they announced what was happening with the whole border thing, it was like, yeah, nah, this is this is what's happening. <laughs> yeah, 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 and ah, uh, yeah, we got we got some stuff going on. Yeah, dude. Um, sorry, sorry. As, <laughs> I'm like, where are you? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> I've, you lost me for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. You lost um, me to the IPAs and the Discord. I was looking at Arkham Leopard's shiny picture of Bugman's Rangers, which is a card from, I guess, a, uh, a Warhammer card game of sorts. Looks looks like it. You, you know what blew my mind, dude? Um, I was scrolling the old tubes, right? Yep. Um, you know the one. The tubes. Um, the tubes. And I was looking through the videos, and I saw one from um, Magikarp Used Fly. You know, oh, you, you, his new yeah. video? No, this was oh. why. This is a video that we watched at the start of lockdown, which is now nine months old, man. Oh the, my the, god! The video where he it was, I think it was called like three grown men spend three thousand dollars on <laughs> plastic toys or something like that, right? Yep. That's the yep. one where they go to the shop and they buy all the all the Warhammer stuff. The dream. And I was like, nine months ago, I was. Oh man, I just I'm like. Fuck me, where has the time gone? <laughs> yeah, dude, legit. Where has it gone? Yeah. You know what? It also means, like, what month are we in? The 11th? We started this podcast in January. Yeah. 
It's almost been a year since we started this. Yeah, where did that crazy. Time, where did that time go? Yeah, man, who knows? I who yeah. knows? It's it, like lockdown has made all the time just evaporate in front of us, right? Like, you know, you start to weeks blend into to each other, and you don't know where you know you don't know what day of the week it is most of the time. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> M- MJ said it went to lockdown for you guys. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, it was rough. Pro- you know what? It's funny. I remember when <laughs> we started our podcast in January, and then when did when did COVID sort of like fully hit? Like April, March was. March. Um, yeah, because do you remember when I went to New Zealand, um, and then I came, I came back, and we were going to go and record that week, and I was in lockdown, and you recorded, and you you phoned me in. Do you remember that? Dude, honestly, zero recollection. <laughs> oh, my solo episode. Yeah, I do yeah. remember that. Oh man, yeah. what was I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> why would I? Why yeah. would I do that? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I was meant to go, but I um, then the lockdown was on. Ah, oh, um, that's right. So we probably had, I had it scheduled. To, yeah, I had to self isolate um, at home for fourteen days, um, and I think the. So the first day I missed and you you did it and you phoned me in. The second day we did it was our first ever Discord episode, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, yeah. I remember listening to our early Discord ones and just like vomiting in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we, people probably know now, but we're on Discord right now. You're at your place, I'm at my place. Yeah. Um, which has been the the norm for the last 17 episodes. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, damn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what did I talk about on a solo episode? I have no recollection. Uh, I think it was the Geelong... Was it the... Was the Geelong... No. Was, was it, it was a tournament you went to, remember? Was it the Geelong sure. Town Open then? Or the Summer Smash? Was, no, it was the Geelong Town no. Open. It had to have been. Yeah, but... I was... Oh, fuck, I'm trying to remember, man. Sorry, guys. Sorry, we're just... Yeah. We, we've zoned off and Reminiscing. Uh, yeah, we're reminiscing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the most boring moment of uh, Hobby <laughs> Homies podcast. You've all just witnessed it then. <laughs> yeah, too many beers, MJ. Sorry. <laughs> we, we forgot you guys were here for yeah, a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Except> we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> um, Arkham. Okay, the original Warhammer Fantasy Battles collectible card game. Wake me up when they said something interesting. Dude, I just called you out. What do you want? <laughs> Did, oh, man, that would have been awesome. It's it, it, it blows my mind that Warhammer Fantasy Battles ended, right? And I guess it did so many people because when we first got into the whole wargaming scene, it was like Age of Sigma was just launched. Yeah. And there was this whole old guard of Warhammer Fantasy Battle players that were just like pissed off. Yeah, They, they was mad. But I just like the, I mean, the game itself, like rank and file on your trays, move the dudes, seemed dope. And now they've got, and they had a card game. It's weird to think that that kind of game would just, like, obviously the collectible card game got cancelled. Warhammer yeah. Fantasy Battles, Battles got cancelled. But they, they made a collectible card game for 40k too, you know. They they had, um, I think it's called Conquest. Right. Um, that was a 40k card game. They've like that. They've tried a lot of stuff, which you know a lot of people in the hobby might not even know about. You know, um, yeah. But it's it's a shame that that stuff had to end. But like, I think I mean I don't know why. I can't I I can't say why they did it. I can only assume that it was getting maybe stagnant in their eyes. You know, maybe they were finding it harder and harder to to get new people into the hobby and, and they couldn't really think of a way to keep the storyline going, you know. Um, so maybe they just hit the old reset button, which it's a shame because I'd hate to see that happen to 40K, you know, the way it is. Um, yeah. I... Obviously, we've got a couple more years with a new edition, but who knows, man, maybe after this edition, they'll be like, all right, let's just fucking, you know, hit the old reset button and start again. <laughs> like... If they did, it would just be simply to switch um, Firstborn to Primaris entirely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, th- this is the thing that you and I miss out on and that, like, TCG is so good at, is that, like, we, there's just a whole universe of the wargaming that we just, like, we, 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 we'd never got. 
So they said that uh, Arkham says that there was an original uh, collectible card game before Conquest, and then there was a Hor- Horus Heresy collectible card game. So, yeah. so that's I mean that's cool. I wonder. I feel like just wargaming in general has absolutely boomed in the last three years, and I feel oh, like for sure, man. I feel like if Games Workshop was to release like a rank and file style game now with brand new models and you know a whole new lineup, it would absolutely kill it. But yep. I think it was just a collection of an old style with old outdated models. And they wanted to, yeah, like you said, just hit the reset button, redo all their marketing, all that kind of stuff. Um, and as a result, like MJ said, a lot of people just moved to Kings of War because it was effectively the same system, but with newer models, potentially. Yeah. So, fingers crossed. I mean, there's there's definitely a resurgence and still people that play Warhammer Fantasy Battles in Geelong. So, you know, you never know. You never know what's on the yeah. horizon. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's tough, man. And there's always going to be those people that hang on to, like, um, those old systems. And, like, I don't blame them. Like, I've got, an, uh, I think it's the 8th edition with the last edition of Fantasy Battle. I've got the rule book for that, which I picked up for cheap as because a guy was selling some Necrons that I bought. Yeah. Um, I just bought it because he's like, do you want any of this stuff? I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll take, take a lot. It. And he goes, <laughs> yeah. he's like, he's like oh, 50 bucks. I'm like, yeah, sweet. And it was a whole bunch of other books and that. Um, <clears throat> and... Um, yeah, but then there's people that I think I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they created the Ninth Age or something like that, which is like a unofficial Ninth Edition of Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Well, Chase just said it was interesting to see how it created such a dispersed community. So Kings of War, Ninth Age, Conquest, oh, A Song of yeah. Ice and Fire, etc. Yeah. So but I mean, people froth that rank I'm and curious file to know thing. If like they like would argue they that like Warhammer the, Fantasy Battles, the movement ending. trays and the you know, the, that sort of stuff. Yeah. I wonder if it was, like, better for the community to have these games try and pick up that same style, like... Yeah. A Song of Ice and Fire. It and- seems to me a very historical style. Like, when I think of rank and file, I think of, like, Napoleonic Wars and, like, American Civil Wars and stuff like that. Before, before the First and Second World War, you know? Like, back when people would stand in a line and shoot each other, not hide in trenches or hide behind terrain you know like yeah it was just like Man let's up. all just stand just in a line <laughs> and shoot each <laughs> other <laughs> and see who comes out yeah exactly that's how games exactly. should be dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah no digging in man no sandbags and fucking and yeah. hiding in ruins it's just like let's just stand in an open field and just shoot each other and yeah. see who wins if you're yeah. if you're the better army you won't get hit by the bullets it's that exactly simple. dude or you know less of your guys will get killed yeah. So, yeah. Oh, we just had a photo drop from Arkham with a bunch oh, of cards. Oh, looks like all the old, all the yeah, the old collectible card games. Yeah. If this is not a pl- plug for the Discord, I don't know what is. But yeah, <laughs> we've just got a ton of people into a ton of different hobbies. I don't know. I've got more hobby done since starting this podcast than I could have done in ten years, to be honest. Yeah. Like seeing MJ and Lethal and people hit up like Star Wars Legion made me paint an entire army. Yeah. Seeing people hit up some 40k, I remember like seeing Burnsy and or even seeing like newer people hit up Hobby. I'm like, I mean, if I don't start painting some stuff, Test Dummy's going to paint some more models than me. <laughs> and he's been, he's been in the he's Hobby already for six has, months. dude. Yeah. His backlog is back, is back to zero. He's, he's, at a, uh, he's got a 0% backlog, which is better than any hobbyist in the world right now. So, yeah. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually he's a celebrity among everyone. Exactly. <laughs> and then, oh, it's it's tricky because I see like Moose and Jace paint some just insane models and I'm like, well, maybe I should start painting like spend a month on a single model. Not that they spend that long. They, they could do that quick, much quicker, but I'm like, that's how long it would take me to do that same thing. So, but, ah, oh, man, uh, there's just so many. And then, ah, oh, yeah, so many people do, doing so many different hobbies just gets me frothed. Yeah. And then yeah, it's and crazy, then man. bloody human and final playing video games sucks you <laughs> and me back into the video game. Ah, oh, it's it's a whole thing. True, very true. Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's been crazy, man. Earlier, final dinosaur asked, 
um, where is it? He said, um, uh, weird question maybe, but any of you guys ever had a bonsai tree? <laughs> Bro. Uh, I've have got four of them. Oh, um, dude, I've had yeah. four of them. <laughs> dude, I remember yours and it died in about a week. <laughs> it's not my fault. I thought they were like, you know, I thought they were just fine to live on their own. I didn't know you had to water them. <laughs> like trees survive, right? You go and you drive out into the forest and trees yeah, are alive. They're in the ground, not in a pot that's fucking like three inches deep. <laughs> yeah, but the tree's tiny, so like a pot three inches deep. It's the same scale, man. <laughs> no, dude. No, dude. Um, he asked how easy and rewarding they are to work on. They're very rewarding, but it's over a very long period of time. Like, okay. My oldest tree is probably five or six years old, and wow. it's grown maybe like two branches in the whole time I've had it um, and you got to repot them every couple of years um, you got to wire them up and, and you know prune them and, and do that there's a fair bit involved it, it's a hobby in itself in a way uh, most of mine I just leave to the to the elements and let them do their, their own thing and they've all survived so far so unlike literally any of mine <laughs> yeah I mean I water mine dude you gotta fucking water it oh okay we well, don't say leave them to the elements and then tell me you're watering them That's uh, I water it but I leave it outside in summer in the winter um, the winter over in Belgium might be different I imagine it's probably colder than here you guys probably get snow so you might need to bring it inside depending on the tree um, but our summer's pretty hot so <laughs> you know <laughs> you are what Moose called you the Australian Mr. Miyagi <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no! <laughs> Two branches. Oh, no. That's kind of cool. It's yeah. It's slow, but like I look at it now and think, fuck. When I had that, it was smaller. <laughs> <laughs> smaller. They, they always say bonsais are not for you, but they're for your like for your kids or for your grandkids or whatever. So you're, like you just grow them over your whole life, kind of thing. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> I mean, to me, yeah. It's like, hey, yo, small child, I've left you a bonsai. They'd be like. What is it? I'm like, it's a, just a, it's a tiny plant. It's a, like, it's well, a small tree. It's a small plant of sorts. What do I do with it? You just like water it every now and then. Do I get an inheritance? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, the economy's <laughs> terrible. You cannot afford a house and don't ever marry someone because you can't live on a single wage. But this is a, like a big tree, but smaller. This tree is, is 20 years old. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, yeah, but what does it do? Does it <laughs> bear fruit? <laughs> oh, I, like sometimes when when it's sunny, it'll think it's autumn, and the 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 leaves will change color. <laughs> like you were alive even. for eighty years. What else did you do? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, yeah, bonsais are interesting. So you've had yep. you've got four now on your yeah, person right now. Not on my persons, but at the backyard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I mean, one like, side. <laughs> yeah, obviously not in your pockets. <laughs> yep. Um. A table of bonsai terrain. Interesting thought, MJ. I feel like the scale is pretty spot on for 28 millimeter yeah, stuff. Yeah, true. Would that be expensive? Not bad. Uh, yes and no. I think you can get bonsais like starters for about seven bucks each, I think. How but they're we... like, seed, like seedlings almost. How did we get here? <laughs> Final dinosaur. Okay. I wanted to answer his question, but I didn't. I didn't think it would turn into a new segment. Uh, sorry, my bad. I'm just very interested. Like all, like literally all my bonsais have died, and I'm a big bonsai fan because it's like a small yeah. tree. But now you're telling me you've turned me off them completely. I don't want to grow them for the future generations. I want. I want a bonsai. <laughs> we can. You could buy like already grown bonsais, but. They cost you because, you know, someone's been growing it for like 40 years. What do you reckon like a hundred year old bonsai cost? Oh, thousands, man. There's a really? place in, um, there's a place in, uh, it's on Somerville Road. Um, I don't, wait, no, sorry, Springvale Road um, over in the east. I don't know what suburb it technically is, um, but it's called Garden World. And there's a little shop there called um, Collector's Corner. And in there they sell like uh, carnivorous plants, like fly traps and uh, sundews and all that. But they've also got a massive outdoor bonsai section. And they've got trees there, which majority of them aren't for sale because they're just ancient, man. Like there's ones there that are like 70 years old. They're, and they're Damn. just... Fu- they, like you look at it and you... It looks like a fucking real life tree you'd find in the forest, but they've just hit it with the old shrink ray and put it 
in a in a pot. Like it's crazy, man. Like the old shrimp. Absolutely ray. crazy. The old shrimp ray, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Like to to yeah. imagine a seventy year old bonsai. Like you know, it fits in your hands. You could hold the pot in your hand. Oh, but it's wow. I mean, you might need two people to hold it. It's pretty heavy. Like they are. They don't. They are big, right? Like they're not. I mean, like, oh, if yeah. it was in front I'm of you, it might pictures. be, like, two foot tall, and the trunk might be, like, as thick as, like, a can. You okay. know, like, there's, there's, a, bit, there's a bit to them. Um, there's, but, like, yeah, it's crazy. It's about $1,000 every 100 years, they say. Okay. American. Yeah. So, there's these, bon- there's these 800-year-old bonsai trees that are about Fuck. a million Australian dollars. Wow. And they're about the torso of a person that I'm looking at yeah. on this website. And they're phenomenal, but like 800 years. That's that's too long, dude. Because <laughs> if you killed it, you've just killed history. I would kill it in a... It would take me less than a year to kill that. <laughs> the pot yeah. is so tiny too. The pot is like the size of your laptop. Yeah. And it's yeah, like this 800 pots, year old man, tree. But- it's like, Some of them you have to repot, you know, like you got to repot them fairly often because the soil needs to be replaced. Like where oh. in a tree in nature, they grow that big, right? Their roots can reach real far and real deep. Where in a pot, because it's so shallow, you got to, you got to, they run out of nutrients in the soil. Um, and Wacky Work says gardening with Fox and Shane. Yes, this is turned into a gardening <laughs> podcast. <laughs> is this what, I hope this is what everyone signed up for. <laughs> No, no one's on this, dude. <laughs> As beers and pants are due. This is it's exactly what people signed up for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, like, looking at the time, dude, we probably should start wrapping this up because oh, this is going to go longer than the main episode. <laughs> Bro, bonsai and banter, like Moose just said, that... <laughs> Imagine the, the cold sweats on you when you're repotting an 800-year-old bonsai, though. Oh, yeah, man. It, it, like this, you got to trim the roots, and then if, if you trim too much, you'll fucking kill it. It's like it's like doing open heart surgery every year when you got to replant it. Yeah, except like, a nah, higher stake that. because instead of someone's measly life, it's a million dollar tree. <laughs> yeah, it's someone's like ten ten years, like ten lifetimes in one tree, dude. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, yo, this uh, this tree existed before the entire modern world. Um, yeah. but if you could just repot that, that'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like sounds like you're a manager at a like at a like a local subway asking <laughs> someone to like sweep out the fucking cold room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, it's about that time. Like we do this every hundred years. Could you just uh, repot that plant? It's like a yeah. slightly bigger pot over there. It's, cu- it's a bit of soil over there. So if you could just like you know just do the thing that we do every hundred years. Just go do that. <laughs> yeah. What, it, what I mean, what are you, the manager of this entire organization, going to do? I'm just going to make some. Uh, I'm just going to reply to some emails. <laughs> yeah, but if you could just yeah again just I can't stress this enough just repot that tree <laughs> yeah uh, you're right though yeah. dude <laughs> we, we, we've carried on it's it's time for us to shoot out um, it is before though okay we've got homie of the week dude of course and look everyone knows who homie of the week is this is this week We've never voted on Homie of the Week, but I feel like this is unanimous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, if anyone was th- was any contestant before this, I'm sorry. But, uh, yep. of course, Homie of the Week goes to Burnsy. Moose. Oh, like, I said, no, I'm just <laughs> He was, uh, like, the other week, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just read, I read the last name of Discord, not my name. <laughs> You're right. It's yeah. absolutely Burnsy. Um, no, it, it takes a lot of... Look... People would, would see a fire and they'd think they would, you know, go in and start helping and, and do everything. But I'd say 99% of people would just stand there and watch. People would don't know what to do. So it takes a lot to, to you know, to do what he did and help out and, yeah. and all that. So we want to we want to recognize that, dude. Like, it, it takes a, car, a certain type of person to do what you've done, man, and incredible. So thank you. Thank you. Really. For, for context, I don't, uh, like, obviously neither of us know the, the full story, but... Burnsy saw a place smoking up and went across and helped like the people get out before it got engulfed literally by flames. Yeah, yeah. And he brushes it off. He says, I'd do it for anyone. I just want to, like I do for people what they would do for me. But when fight or flight kicks in, dude, like that situation is so surreal that a lot of people would just, I would freeze. I'd be like, is this happening? But yeah. you just you just went in and you you did what, 
the extraordinary people would do. You're extraordinary, dude. So we want to recognize you. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, absolutely. So thanks, man. Thanks for thanks for doing that. Thanks for being in our Discord. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're a killer, dude. Yeah, for sure. Moose yeah. said most people would just keep on driving. I mean, I honestly right. think I would. I would be like, holy shit, that or, place is smoking up. Dude, or they'd pull over and start fucking filming it with their phone, you know? Yeah. Like, I do that's that the too. problem. People, people just do that shit. Like, yeah, you gotta, you ca- ha- yeah. You yeah, switch anyway, off. Don't you get ca- me started. <laughs> you honestly can't. You can't fathom. <laughs> like you see, you see smoke coming from a building, and you're like, "Is this happening? Like, surely everyone's yeah. out of that house. Surely everything's all good. Like, I can't be witnessing something that's an actual risk. No, surely. But yeah, anyways, you're a lad, and not only are, are you a lad, you're homie of the week. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Wear it with pride, man. Although it's it's not really going to get you much uh, recognition or street cred. Yeah, literally, we we don't even give you a prize for it. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you, <laughs> we. I mean, we we should. I've got Mornfang Brown air paint here. Is that <laughs> is that Come good on, enough, dude? <laughs> Used paint now. <laughs> I mean, like I cracked it yesterday, but it's pretty uh, janky. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I've had it for three years. So I nah, <laughs> nah, just kidding. It's over the head for one. <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right this all has right. been beers and banter um at, like i feel like it's appropriate to end all beers and banter with an apology <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm sorry I'm sorry everybody <laughs> <laughs> yeah especially to those that tuned in live um yeah with, uh, there's like there's a ton of you here guys we can't thank you enough elko arkham bernsey final hawkers human tryhard Jace, Lethal, MJ, Moose, Shaz, what are you doing here? Tess, <laughs> Whack, like, you're, you're all amazing. Um, we can't wait to get back in the studio. We're going to start pumping games. I feel like we're about to take off. Not, like, with listeners or anything, <laughs> but, like, in, the t- in terms of stuff that we're going to start doing, getting back in the studio, Churchy from Beyond the Blanket, Beyond the Void is going to be back. I'm just hyped. So yeah, yeah. Thank it's gonna you so be a much. big one, guys. Bear with us while we. I mean, I know you guys will. I know you guys will. But like, and you have, <laughs> and you have already. But when we're back in the studio next week, it's gonna be. Oh fuck! It's gonna be fucking messy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, probably another apology due for the uh, studio app. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, we can't wait to actually start doing stuff as well, like catching up with you guys. We're catching up with TCG. There's um, like Benno and Agro that are playing 40k over in Melbourne that we can actually probably start hanging out with. It's just gonna be it's gonna be wild. So yeah, we're free. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be free soon. Human and Final are definitely flying to Australia to catch up with us. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. So Hell yeah, dude. So thank Hell you yeah. so much. Uh, this has been Beers and Banter. I've been Fox. I've been Shane. And we are Audi. Yeah, live, laugh, love. <laughs> no, <laughs> you what? didn't do it. <laughs> He's gone and done it. All right, <laughs> peace. See ya. All right. All right.